Hey, good morning. This is Dan and Brian, and we are doing a collaboration today with our good friends at Waterscape. We're really pumped on this project. We haven't seen it yet, but we're just about to pull into the resident's house, and we're going to see what this job is all about. Let's go check it out. Chuck. Hey, this is uh, Calibration Nation. <laughs> right here, man. We're calibrating. <laughs> All right. Chuck's a wordsmith. Yeah, I am. Yeah. What's going on, guy? This is Chuck Kirschbaum, founder of Waterscapes Incorporated. Hi. I'm just an old guy. <laughs> Playing in the dirt. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. Wetland filter. Long, long stream. Wow, look at this. We got to go up top and check this out. Hey, hi to Joe. Remember Joe? You know Joe? What's up, brother? How you doing, Dan? Joe? Here's Brian. Joe, Teddy. Brian, that's Joe. Joe, that's Brian. Look at this view. Oh, man. Look at this. This is approximately a 35 foot wide pond by a maybe 40 45 feet long yeah, they've got a skim cove here instead of having a skimmer with the pump just below a basket to catch the floating debris what will happen is the water will flow in this area circulate around and and then leaves and whatnot can be scooped out so not like you know in the fall with all these trees that will lose all their leaves they'll get blown into a pond a skimmer would have to be emptied out maybe once, twice a day. They've got three inch piping coming out to supply that wetland. Fish caves back over and through here. Lots of lily pockets. And look at this. They're gonna have steps so they can walk right down into the pond. This is this is a really nice pond. Approximately four and a half, five feet deep. They're gonna be able to go swimming in here. A bridge over here where their transit is set on. This job was started back in December of 2020. This is just wow. Look at this. This is a work of art We're just happy to be here to be able to collaborate with waterscapes and help them finish this job out Before we get started in our our season here. So we're up here in Ann Arbor, Michigan We're gonna take the day and we're gonna work with waterscapes to finish out this project So I do what I do when I'm on any job and I'm walking around out in this vast acreage for the homeowner. I know that Waterscapes has already found this, but oh my God, these were farmers fields before and this was a stockpile of all their cobblestone that's just been here. And the guys have been coming in here since last year and harvesting a lot of the uh, small six to eight inch ones. but look at this I mean this is like just to have fractured boulders at your disposal now they have brought in some of the the larger stones in here but you know you've got 20 tons of uh, oversized cobblestone in here that they used for their wetlands for some of their filtration in that as for a pond builder this is awesome to have at your disposal so right in here they had a, a little puncture in the liner so Brian's gonna clean all this up and he's going to uh, do a, a quick patch on that. So what happened is um, they had a bubble in the bottom of the pond. Hydrostatic pressure built up underneath it, bubbled it all up, punctured the liner. You know, it's a really good thing that Chuck called us in here. So we'll take care of that for him. <laughs> Hi, I'm just an old guy. <laughs> Playing in the dirt. <laughs> What's the matter, Chuck? <laughs> So 
So Joe's working on creating a limestone outcropping wall here. What that's going to do is it's going to minimize the slope. So on a heavy rain, all this is not going to wash down and eventually migrate its way down into the pond because then we've got dirt inside the pond, maybe some excessive nutrients, cloudy water. That's not living the aquascape lifestyle. So part of being a contractor is knowing your projects, knowing what's going to happen before it happens, and try to minimize that as much as possible. So Joe comes from a hardscape background, and he knows what's going to work, what's not going to work. He's making these rocks fit together just like a puzzle. You might think that they're all numbered, and it is a puzzle to follow, but it's not. I am thinking. Which one's next? This is experience in motion. The man, the myth, the legend, Joe. Joe. What you working on there, George? Uh, I put the thing on the thing and then the thing over on the thing. You know, and I make a pretty thing. Following the instructions there? Yeah. Yep. What you got going on there, Ted? So, Aquascape's new. DIY 4000 foam can. Got the new uh, exit point for the foam, but I don't want to waste the whole can of foam, so. What's up guys, this is Brian with Waterscape. Uh, we brought Dan Putt from Putt's Ponds Gardens here to help us out. We're in Ann Arbor, building this nice uh, recreational pond. We brought in Dan's guys to help us uh, finish up some of the few details for a few days. We should, uh, pond's filling up right now, we should be able to get this up and running by today. Uh, we have a nice wetland filter up there. Got some cascading waterfalls coming down the hill. Check out this link right down below. We'll be posting a video here coming up shortly. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click that bell too so you get a notification when we post a video. And stay tuned. This is going to be a sweet one. This is Ted from Waterscape. Out here with Dan Put from Putts Ponds. It's uh, that time of the year when we're super busy. And because of how busy we are in our schedule, I didn't want to bring out guys that, you know, brand new greenhorns come out to do what we do so we decided to call Dan and Brian you know I knew I was gonna get some experienced guys out here and that knew what they were doing so it's a lot harder to get new guys to understand what we do right away and when obviously the schedule so busy it's hard to train guys so it's nice to have guys that know what they're doing now. and to make sure that this was done right we called in Brian and Dan from Puts Ponds to do our to help us out tidy everything up and get this pretty much done so we can move on to the next project collaboration nation baby it's not what it's all about that's what this tribe's all about and that's what we like to do so got any comments on this project ask teddy i know nothing about it this isn't my job i'm just a grunt here today i don't either so no, I'm so we'll blame it all on chuck yeah. but you know what it's probably joe's fault yeah yeah. Joe's the hardscape guy.
have Ann and Brian here from Puts Ponds. <laughs> you guys smoking pot with all Ah. And to button up. No, that's okay. We'll take that. Hi, I'm just an old guy <laughs> <laughs> playing in the dirt. Hey, this is uh, Calibration Nation. Can you read that? Probably not. No, Look at the mud go, on that no, thing. No, go to man. the other one. Go to the other one. This is Joe's work right here. <laughs> I, I, I'm not taking credit for this right now. This is this one's being redone. <laughs>